Hello guys, I hope everybody is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing post correspondence problem. Again, this is a problem of uh, undecidability. Undecidability is actually discussed in previous video. So I'm putting the link in description box. Again, uh, what is undecidability? Undecidability means there is no procedure to find out uh, whether uh, there is a solution which is existing or not. So uh, I'll just take you to the definition of this problem. So we have two lists. Uh, we have list X and list Y. We have to basically uh, list X is divided into certain uh, parameters with X1, x2 x3 x4 similarly y is also a list which is divided into uh, certain uh, parts y1 y2 y3 and y4 so these are two m non-empty set of strings so again these are not empty strings so they are filled up and if i'm putting 0 1 so it means uh i'm putting the values like uh x0 x1 x2 x3 and you can it's it's up to you whatever number of values you want to take you can take that so uh, we have to basically check uh, for we have to check for a pattern where if i put that particular pattern so that these x is actually equal to y so it means i have to find that pattern like for an example we will be given a particular example we have to check what kind of pattern should i put i if i can put one two three it means x1 x2 x3 if i combine together uh, they will be equal to y1 y2 and y3 so again from the very first point i cannot decide unless or until i perform on a particular task so it means I need to perform a particular procedure to check whether there is a particular pattern that exists for uh, that exists to make sure that these two lists are equal. So again, I have to check that. So it means there is an undecidability which is there. So we have, uh, let's say the question is, does PCP with two lists has a particular solution? So X value is given over here as uh, I can take this as x1, x2 and x3. It's up to me because this is a list. I can take this as y1, y2 and y3. So it means your x1 is b, x2 is b, a, b cube and uh, x3 is b, a. Uh, y1 is b cube, y2 is b, a and y3 is a. So guys, very, very, very important thing that I need to... Uh, tell you that I have to basically combine them and check whether they have a particular solution or not. If yes, uh, then again, we will get the answer. If no, so then it does not have a solution. So I'll just try to check. Uh, let's check 213 as a pattern. 213 as a pattern would be, uh, I have to write x2, x1, x3 similarly i have to check whether it is equal to y2 y1 and y3 guys i've written 2 1 3 as a pattern so it means i'll pick x2 first x1 second and x3 third similarly i pick y2 first y1 second and y3 third so we will get it as b a b cube then we have b and we have b a so again what answer we are getting b a b power 5 a. So we are getting this answer. Let's see whether we get that, that as an equal answer for y1, uh, y2, y2, which is b a, then y1, which is b cube, and y3 is a. So again, we get b a b cube a, whether b a b5 a is equal to definitely it is not. Similarly, I can test another pattern as 2 1 1 3. So I am basically checking it for that particular purpose. I'm writing x2, x1, x1, x3. So I get that answer as b, a, b cube, b, b, and b, a. So I get b, a, b, 6, a. That I have got for x2, x1, x1, x3. I'll similarly test for y2, y1, y1, y3. y2 is b, a, uh, y1 is b cube, y1 is b cube again, and 
uh, we have got y3 as a so we have got b a b6 a so for from checking the patterns from checking the patterns we have got x2 x1 x1 x3 b a b6 a equal to y2 y1 y1 y3 so it means b a b6 a so it means this problem does have a solution and the solution is if i take a pattern of 2 1 1 3 this can give me an answer from the very instant, I cannot tell what kind of patterns will be equal, whether it will have a solution or not. So if, if it is not having a solution, it is undecidable. I don't even have a procedure. I have to check it randomly one by one by one. So this is how PCB problem works. If there is any doubt, uh, you can always ask me in comment section. So kindly like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.